Welcome to the Loner Ranger Radio Show. My name is Bruce Woodburn and I'm the Loner Ranger. This is a show where we talk about how to save money when buying real estate, selling real estate, maybe questions you might have regarding a purchase transaction that you may have had in the past or a refinance or a struggle that you've had. Maybe you have questions about title insurance or home inspections. Could be any number of things. But when it comes right down to it, My expertise is down and dirty when it comes to getting loans approved and making sure the customers have a great experience. You know, you can go anywhere for a mortgage if you got good credit. Anybody will take you. I mean, who doesn't, who doesn't want a loan with 20% down and an 800 credit score and a debt ratio of 35%? Well, any lender can do that. But what you don't get is you don't get the level of service and commitment that you get from the loan arranger. I've been in the mortgage business for 33 years. I've closed well over 10,000 transactions. That's not my company. That's just me. And I'm here to make sure that I take good care of you. A lot of you folks have listened to me. You've referred your friends and family and coworkers to me, and I want you to know how much I appreciate that. Now, if you've got a question or you'd like to reach me, the loan arranger, Bruce Woodburn, Cross Country Mortgage, you can call me or text me at 407-706-3313. That's 407-706-3313. You can go to my website to apply online at webringyouhome.com. Webringyouhome.com. Now, listen, it's a beautiful Sunday morning, okay? We might be getting a little rain today, but it's a beautiful Sunday. You're working around the house. Okay, you're doing the yard, you're edging the yard, you're blowing the yard, you're vacuuming, you're doing the dishes, you're cleaning up, you're doing laundry. I know what you're doing, but I want you to stop for a second and just keep my number handy because you may not need me right now, but you're going to have somebody or a friend or family member that might really need my help, and I want to be there to help you. I want you to know that you can count on me. So just call me at 407-706-3313 or go to my website at webringyouhome.com. But save me in there under the Loan Arranger. And also, you could do me a big favor. I'm trying to get my Google rankings up right now. So one of the things that I can do is increase my YouTube subscribers. So YouTube, when you subscribe to somebody at YouTube, you don't get spam or anything. You just know if they posted a video or some type of a blog. So, you know, I record this show and the show I do with Cleve on Saturdays, and it goes on my YouTube page. So if you go to Bruce Woodburn, The Lone Arranger, and it's not The Lone Ranger, guys. It's The Lone Arranger. I arrange loans. So Bruce Woodburn, The Lone Arranger, YouTube, and subscribe to me. I'd be so much appreciative. It's going to, it's going to help me get up much further in the rankings, and that'll help me, that'll allow me to help more people throughout the country. Because as you know, I'm a direct lender and I lend in all 50 states. I'm doing loans in Oklahoma, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, um, I mean, all of Virginia, um, Oh, all over the place. So you might need me in another state. You might have a friend you want to refer me to um, or refer to me, and I want to be there to help. So keep that number handy. Again, 407-706-3313 or webringyouhome.com. Let's get down to business on what's going on in the economic state of the mortgage industry. My God, every day I come into the office, it's like, oh my God, what's going to happen with rates today? So, you know, it's funny, I was reading an article on what's going on with interest rates and what other people's and economic uh, and economists' predictions are going to be. So it's it's pretty doggone fascinating. And I was, you know, I, you know, everybody's freaking out. They're like, "Oh my God, rates are in the high fours, and now they're hitting the fives, and they're hitting the sixes." I'm freaking out. So I pulled up this article that uh, really it was talking about tracking mortgage rates from the '70s to now. Okay, so let's just put this in perspective. Okay, so I was born in 1959. I'm 62 years old. I'll be 63 years old this year. But a lot of you folks maybe listening to the show were around in the 70s. Okay, so um, so it's it's really interesting. So this article talks about um, uh, as mortgage rates rise, and uh, 40 years ago. 
And so let's just look at it. Half a century ago, uh, when the American endured an economic earthquake. So it's talking about um, the uh, import-dependent United States being uh, uh, rationing, uh, rationing gas. Remember when gas was rationed? I mean, I remember that. I mean, it was it was kind of crazy. So you could only get so much gas, and there was lineups at gas stations and so forth and so on. You may remember that, and uh, so and then oil prices jumped to three hundred, jumped by three hundred and fifty percent, and it, it was there was mass layoffs, prices were rising, head-on collisions between soaring inflation and economic stagnation. It was absolutely crazy. According to the Federal Reserve, oil prices uh, doubled between 1979 and 1980. Doubled. Doubled. You think we're seeing some problems right now? We got room to go. We could get a lot worse, and I believe it will. So let's just kind of recap the storms of the 70s. And the 30-year fixed rate in the 70s was about 7.33 for a good part of the time. Now, Although, um, when things uh, things started to stabilize, uh, rates stayed at or just below 9% through the middle of the decade, but they breached double digits again in the fall of 1978, and then they remained there to 1986. But in the 1980s was the peak. In March of this year, the world learned that inflation had risen by 7.9%. The month before, which was a 40 year high. Prices hadn't jumped so sharply since 1982. And while today's inflation is certainly causing anxiety, it is simply not comparable to the extraordinary events of 40 years ago. Because in 1980, started with the recession. And I'm going to tell you something it was a recession. In the wake of Iran, there was the Iran crisis. Mortgage rates soared to 16.35% in April of 1980. Plunging briefly, when I say plunging briefly, to a low of 12.18% in July. Then the devastating recession in 1981-1982 gripped the country. Mortgage rates peaked at, uh, in October 16th of 1981 and an impossibly high of 18.53%, four times today's rate. One year later, October 1992, inflation had finally fallen to a merciful 15%. In 1983, mortgage rates dropped again to 13. Though they briefly breached 14 in 1984, they never again hit 15%. On April 4th of 1986, mortgage rates briefly returned to a single digit. Oh, my. I remember the single digits. In 1987, the stock market crashed and interest rates rose yet again. Mortgage rates fell, never fell below 9% during the entire 1980s. And the 1990s began. The great cooling off. It was incredible. In fact, despite a brief spike at the tail end of 1994, rates stayed below 9% for the entire decade through the 90s. And then, of course, the, 20, 20 century, the 21st century came. Cheap money, cheap money. In response to the pandemic, rates fell to a historic low below 3%. Borrowers became spoiled with the cheap money that today's and uh, based on that rate and now today's rate of an average of about four and three quarter percent which was really last week at a high and some people looking at that history think that that's a high rate so i'm i'm i look at that and i go oh my god you think four and three quarters is a high rate try 18.53 could we get that high could do I think we will? No. Nope. Where does the loan arranger think we're going to go? I will tell you, but you got to write down my phone number first, 407-706-3313. That's 407-706-3313. Call me. Text me your story. I'd love to hear from you. 
Apply online at webringyouhome.com. Why? Because rates are four and three quarter to five and a half right now. Why? Because rates are going to hit six and a half to seven and a half percent probably in the very short future. And we come back from our next break. I'm going to talk about what the Fed's doing, what rates are looking to do. We actually this week, we saw some bad days and some good days where in the past two, three weeks, it's been every day was a worse day than the day before. So look at you. We can sit and we can whine and cry about what today's rates are doing. Forget about it. You got some good news. And the good news is, as long as houses keep appreciating in value, I don't care if the rate is 10% or 9% or 8% or 14%. I don't care. It doesn't make that much of a difference, provided you qualify. The problem is, is a lot of you won't qualify. Like, I can remember back in the 80s and 90s, if I had a client that was hitting 45% debt ratio, there was a stopping point. You couldn't go any higher than that. Heck, FHA and VA will sometimes do 55, 60% debt ratio. And people think they really can do it. Well, the good news is, is your house is going up in price. And as long as you can make your payment, as long as we're not losing jobs, we're going to be fine. Let me just grab a sip of water there because my throat gets dry while we're on the air here and uh, with the continuous talking. So what do you, what are you experiencing right now? What are you feeling? You feeling that rates are getting out of control for you? So let's just put this all in perspective because when I come back, not the next break, but the break after that, I want you to stay close. Don't, don't lose the station. Don't turn me off because I got some real important economic news that's going to impact you. And it's going to impact you in one way or another. So let's just say, I don't care, Bruce. I got a two and three quarter percent interest rate on my house. I'm not planning on refinancing and I'm not planning on buying. Right now, I'm sitting pretty good. My kids are off. I got one in college. One just got a new job. I'm this, I'm that. I'm a grandparent. I got grandchildren. They're all adults. Well, let me tell you something. When we come back, we're going to talk about rents. Now, we've been telling you that the national average for rents is going up by 20%. Okay, 20%. But I got some news here that that is not correct news. It's not correct. But I'm going to tell you something. It's going to get worse than that. Much, much worse. So I want you to be aware of it. Because if you've got children or grandchildren that are currently renting and their rents do go up by 20% and you're paying $2,500 for a two-bedroom, I'm going to tell you who's going to be moving back in with you. And if you don't mind the grandkids or the kids moving back in with you, and don't say, they ain't ever moving in with me. When you start seeing your grandchildren or your children homeless, you're going to start letting them move in. So can this affect you? It can affect it affects the extended family. Don't think it doesn't. Just like a teenage pregnancy in a household affects the family. You got to look out to, for your kid and then their, your kid's kid. It affects the family. It chews into your retirement. It chews into the time you wanted to spend in Europe and go away for a month and a half. And you can't do it because you're taking care of kids again. Don't think that your extended family does not affect you. It affects you and affects you right in a pocketbook right in your in your in your savings for retirement so if rents continue to go up you're going to expect to see that some of these folks are going to be moving back in with mom and dad and grandma and grandpa and you got three kids and a dog and a cat and one person not working and the other person working it's going to get to be a traumatic experience at the household i know it would at mine so I'm moving into a one-bedroom apartment, uh, buying a condo, one bedroom, so nobody can ever move in with me. That's my retirement plan. Right now, my house is way too big, and I can bring too many people into that household. It's not looking good, folks. However, um, I think that if we teach our children well and really just teach on work ethics, uh, good credit, paying our bills, working hard, then most of the time we're going to come out of this thing on top. If you have any questions, feel free to give the Loan Arranger a call. I'm at 407-706-3313 or webringyouhome.com. That's webringyouhome.com. I'll be back in five minutes with more of the Loan Arranger Show. Stay tuned.